Hey what's going on people Bear Fox here and welcome back to another brand new video. In today's video I'm going to be showing you guys how to fix your FPS and frame drops and all of your lags and input delay in Valorant's new episode 7 act 2 which was dropped recently. Now this update is pretty messed up and we all know it so make sure to watch this video till the end for better results. Also do leave a like and leave your specs down in the comments below so I can reply to each one of you individually and with all that said let's get started. Alright, step number one is checking for Windows update. Windows keeps on bringing new updates to fix their bugs and it could be really beneficial if one of them are causing FPS drops in your game. So for that you need to open up settings on your Windows and once you are here, locate all the way down to Windows update and once you are here, simply click on check for updates and make sure that this is all up to date. Doing so will give you a good habit of keeping your Windows up to date and it will also fix your bugs, in short, fixing your input latency as well as FPS in the games. Well, before moving ahead, I would like to introduce you all to CD Key Outlet, a store which fulfills all of your digital needs from PC to PS. CD Key Outlet has a wide variety of digital keys for games and software for multiple platforms, which is legal, reliable, and convenient. On the website, you can find a lot of categories where you can get Steam and Uplay gift cards as well. However, I liked how convenient it is to get a Windows key since I don't like the activate Windows sign on my Windows and to fix it, I can literally get a Windows key for a huge discount. Generally, you can get Windows 11 Pro for 28.50 but on this sale, you can use my code FOX and you can get an extra flat 50% off that means that you can get the original windows copy at just 14.50 which makes it the perfect time to get rid of that annoying windows license activation once you buy it you will get a code on your email and using that code you can activate your windows in no time so go check out cd key outlet links in the description below and don't forget to use my code fox step number two is the essential windows settings and for that you need to locate gaming part right over here open up xbox game bar and make sure to turn this thing off xbox game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background and disabling so will give you better fps for sure Right behind that, go back to game mode and make sure that this is turned on. Enabling your game mode will optimize your PC by turning things off in the background and that will save you a lot of processing power, in short giving you better FPS whenever you're playing the games. Lastly is the graphic settings, you need to go over there and once you are here, click on change default graphic settings and enable both of these options. They will ensure to reduce your input latency as well as optimize your games for windowed mode. Now go back to graphics and over here you will find a list of all of the games and applications that uses your graphic card primarily for performance. And over here you can already find Valorant added. If not, you can always click on the browse button and then go to the installation directory. Now once you've added it, you need to go to options and then simply select high performance and click on save. Make sure to do this step because it will optimize your game to use your GPU over your CPU. Step number 3 is deanimating your windows and this is also really important. For that, you need to search for adjust the appearance and performance of windows and once you are here, simply click on adjust for best performance, then click on show thumbnails instead of icons as well as smooth edges of screen font. Make sure to click on apply as this will deanimate most of the windows and that will save you a lot of processing once again and since you have a default look on your windows, it will be very minimal and you will be saving a lot of power on your PC. Next step is changing your power plan and this is also super beneficial whenever you are playing the games. And for that you need to open up control panel and search for power options right over here. Once you are on the power options, what you need to do is select ultimate performance if that is showing up on your PC or you can go with high performance. Please make sure that if you are on a laptop, select balanced because high performance or ultimate performance will consume a lot of battery on your PC and if you are playing on laptop, it can also overheat your laptop and can cause fan issues in long term. The next step is system configuration and for that you need to search for system configuration on your PC and once this window opens up, you are going to locate the boot section, click on advanced option, select number of processors and choose the maximum number of processors available for your PC. For me, it is 24. Simple Simply set it and click on OK. Then click on Apply. Doing so will utilize all of the cores on your PC while your PC boots up and it will also increase the gaming performance in the long run. Also, I would recommend you guys to go to services and disable all of the unnecessary services. Simply click on hide all Microsoft service and disable most of the services as you guys can see as they are not important whenever your PC boots up. Just make sure that VGC is turned on because it is important for your game to be running. 
once it is done simply click on ok next step is defragging your disc and it is super beneficial for the smooth and efficient performance of your games and for that you need to search for defragment and optimize drives and once you open up this thing select your local disk c and click on optimize this will trim your solid straight drive and it will optimize it since trimming it will ensure better performance and smoother performance of your ssd whenever you restart your pc if you're not running an ssd on your local disk c if you have a hard disk drive simply click on analyze and let it fragment for hard disk drive fragmentation will get you better performance next step is fixing all of your internet issues and for that i would recommend you guys to use exit lag exit lag is pros choice to get rid of your internet issues and this will also help you guys to improve your gaming performance you can simply go to the link in the description below and download exit lag from here once you open up this application it looks like this and the interface is really really simple on the left side you can find a list of all of the games that you can choose from there are over 300 games that you can choose from over here and from this list you need to look for valorant now you need to simply search for Valorant, select that and select the nearest game region to you. For me, the nearest server is IN Mumbai 01 and once you're done with that, simply click on apply routes. Now that will add Valorant to the list and Valorant is now optimized for network. Then you need to simply click on the tools section, go to FPS boost section and make sure to enable first, third, fourth, fifth, third last and last option and that will get you the best FPS possible and the best PC performance possible for this game. Now once again, exit lag is only free to use for 3 days but if that helps you out, I would recommend you guys to go for a subscription. There are multiple subscriptions possible, there are monthly, annually and semi-annually which you can select from this page and getting the subscription from the link in the description below will get you a flat 10% off right from the start. So it is only available for the first purchase so you can get any of that at 10% off so make sure to choose it wisely. Next step is creating a restore point and this is really really beneficial. Simply search for create a restore point on your pc and over here select your local disk c click on configure and make sure the system protection is turned on simply click on ok create and name it valorant just to remember it and simply click on create once it is done next step is the valorant e7 a2 fps pack that is the episode 7 act 2 fps pack i'll be leaving a link to this down in the description below if you guys are facing any issues downloading this pack you can join my discord server for a detailed video tutorial now once you open up this pack you can find in four simple four first one is the cpu priority and over here i have left two simple folders for amd and intel cpu now to know your cpu you can simply search for system information on your pc and then look for the processor over here now i am using an amd processor so i need to run the amd cpu priority once you're done applying your cpu priority go to the second folder which is the valorant priority and i would recommend you guys to select high or above normal priority you need to open up your game and see which one of them works best for you next step is the ram optimization and for that you need to know what ram you're using on your pc and once again open up system information on your pc and then look for the total installed physical memory so that is 32 gb for me so i need to run the 32 gb ram registry well it could be different for you so i have left a ton of presets over here which you can choose from from and don't worry this is completely safe so you can apply it also i have left a reset to default registry just in case you don't like it next thing is the windows optimization and over here i have left registries so open up this folder and you need to apply all three of these registries that will disable unnecessary services enable clear page file at shutdown and improve your third priority that will increase your pc's performance next is the storage optimization and you need to right click and run this thing as administrator once it opens up you need to press any key and it will start deleting all of the temporary files on your pc don't worry this is completely safe and your data will be unharmed this is only going to remove the temporary files next one is the unpack cpu program and you need to right click and run this as administrator once again this is a really simple program created to solve just one issue on your pc that is parking of cpu windows by default has this tendency to park the cores which are not in use and that will lead to performance issues now let's say if you're having a computer with more than four cores there are chances that over those four cores they might be parked because they are not in use so what you need to do is open this application and slide this parking index all the way to 100 that is unparked click on apply and right after that you can see there are enabled cores for me it is 24 cores it could be anything for you all of the cores will be working and this will give you best performance in game 
Now close this and open up Valorant for the best in-game settings. Alright guys, so once you are in-game, what you need to do is go to the settings and over here and over here go to video settings and in general, you need to make sure that you are always playing on full screen and your resolution is always your native resolution with the max FPS or the max refresh rate possible on your monitor. You need to go all the way down to find Nvidia reflects low latency and you need to set this to on plus boost. This will help you to get better input latency. Also, go to graphics quality and make sure that multi-threaded rendering is turned on. This option will only be available to people who are having more than 4 cores on their system. So if you are having more than 4 cores, make sure to use this setting as it can give you phenomenal FPS boost. Then everything over here should always be set to low, veneer should be turned off, vsync should be turned off, anti-aliasing should be none, anisotropic filtering should be 1x, improve clarity of beta sharpening off, bloom, distortion, car shadows, everything set to off and this is the best settings for competitive Valorant gameplay. So guys, I hope this video might have helped you out. If it did, make sure to do leave a like and smash the subscribe button down below since it really helps me out a lot. We'll see you guys in another video. Until then, stay tuned. Keep watching Bear Fox and peace out.